This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. How are you? How are you? It's Alex, and it's the uh, Ramble, and we're on the air. If we weren't, could I do this? There we go. See, if you're watching this on uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, then live and uh, so on, you, you saw that little gag and what we what we just did. Wasn't that swell? Okay. Anyway, uh, welcome to our program. It goes until, uh, let's see, midnight tonight. Yes, uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Right now it's about oh, five and a half minutes past ten Eastern Daylight Time. So wherever you are in the world, adjust for that. And you can uh, figure out uh, what uh, whether we're live or not. And if we're live, you can call us using the Citizen Panel and using Skype, and we'll tell you more about that later on. But right now, as we like to do every now and then, we have a video guest. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the lovely, the attractive, the urbane, the what else? Anything else? Uh, Anything I've left out, Will Durst? Uh, talented, uh, legendary, uh, old. <laughs> <laughs> old. What are old. the what are the you know the ills of getting old? I hate to talk about it because I know I'm losing every young listener I could possibly get. But then again, I don't think I'm going to get every young listener anyway. <laughs> Do you find that as you get older, you become more invisible? Totally invisible. And not just to the opposite sex. That happened 25 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Anybody under the age of 28. Yeah, you just don't exist. You're you're just like, you know. So really what's happened as we've gotten older, we've gotten a, uh, oh, a Marvel Universe power of invisibility. (laughs) That's our, yeah, it's our secret power. I mean, you could go and kill somebody in the street and everybody would look around and go, did you see anybody do that? You try telling a joke to a barista, <laughs> and a barista, which of course uh, you and I know as a clerk in a coffee shop. Yeah. But uh, they they flip out. This was not covered in their orientation. To their point of view, the furniture just waddled over and initiated a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, speaking of baristas, do you? Have you ever gotten down the nomenclature at uh, uh, at, at Starbucks? All that like st- a double uh, decaf, no foam, soy milk, butterfly friendly latte with a twist of Myers lemon and a shade grown cilantro rinse? No, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? I drink black coffee, and I'm always stuck in line behind the 13 people ordering their 22-ingredient signature drink. You know, it takes forever for me to get a drink. Yeah, I just I, it just uh, annoys the shit out of me. I go in, I say, I have some coffee, black, you know. Uh, no room. Huh? You can't say black anymore. You just say no room. No so room? No room for cream or uh, for cream. See, that's... So you just say no room. That's the new uh, black. Well, you know, we had a we had a thing here in New York where if you ordered coffee regular, regular, that was with cream. Yeah, uh, and sugar, right? It, yeah, well, no uh, cream. You added the sugar if you wanted it, but regular, regular, regular was it uh, was was with cream. Now you regular. would think regular would be the black coffee, wouldn't you? By logic, <laughs> it's New York City. There is no we're, logic. We're trying to apply logic to coffee here, which is all wrong. Well, Mr. Durst, you must be working your ass off. Because all I know is that every time I turn around, there's something else I have to do because there's uh, some story that broke. Every week. Every week. Last week, uh, what was what was my big story last week? I had a big story, and I wrote all about it. And last week was uh, shoots and ladders. Uh, last week was shoots and ladders. 
because uh, someone called him a moron. The Secretary of State called the President of the United uh, States I, not just. No, not I, just I, I, no, I was going to correct you on that, but you're correcting yeah, yeah. yourself. No, what do you call him? A fucking moron. A, now, you don't start out at fucking moron. I mean, that's. that's, that's fucking, the, fucking the, moron is where you wind up. That's right. <laughs> You start out at, at uh, pinhead or nitwit or idiot or nincompoop or moron, and then fucking moron. Yeah. It's not total fucking now, what, What's moron. funny about it is that uh, Tillerson, Tillerson has not denied it. He refuses to deny it. Like? So, so he's got a shred of dignity left. Well, I don't... Why is he not... Why is he not just saying, no, I didn't say it? Because, I mean, there's no record of it. You know, there was just people in the room who heard it. I think he's proven to the people in the room that he does have a shred of dignity. Really? Because he knows he knows who heard him say it. Yeah. Do you know who, got, know. Yeah, you know who got his dignity cred back this week was McCain. Again? With the speech he gave. Oh, I missed the Did speech. You, oh, oh, you got to go listen to that speech. He took Trump out to the woodshed. I mean, he it was basically, it was a speech about what makes America great and how we can be great Americans. And then he slips in. He doesn't say Trump, but he slips in people who, uh, who go with certain dogmatic beliefs. And he just took him to the woodshed. Uh, you got to go listen to that speech. It's... It, all of a sudden, it's like McCain is going, I'm dying. Okay, I'll say everything I ever wanted to say. McCain was always very cool. Yeah. McCain, except, except when he ran for president. Except when he ran against Obama. Yeah. Because he couldn't, he couldn't maintain that same kind of, he was the golden child. The press loved him. Yeah. You know, in 2000, when he ran against Bush, yeah. He ran a great campaign, and then Bush killed him in South Carolina, saying, you know, making phone calls saying, well, you know, he has a black baby because he had the adopted baby. Yeah. African baby. Yeah. And so he got killed. But I was on his bus, you know, the Straight Talk Express. Yeah. Him, shook his hand. Great. You know, just a bunch, just in the back of a bunch of reporters. But, uh, he was, he was, oh, if you follow his career, except for 2008. Right. Because he wasn't, he wasn't the, the hip new thing. He was always the hip new thing because he was a free talking Republican who, who, and he was a straight talk express. Well, he was also, he was a liberal Republican. Or a moderate Republican. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah. certainly not a conservative Republican. No, he was in the Rockefeller mode. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and, you know, we used to have that. I mean, that's what I hate about the Republicans now. We used to have this wide range of Republicans and a wide range of Democrats. I mean, hell, we can we go back to... A, still have a wide range of Democrats. I you mean, but, no, but you don't, you don't have what we used to have, which were the Dixiecrats. Right. The Dixiecrats which, all became Republicans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the Dixiecrats were the racists. You know, whenever they say, oh, you know, the... Uh, the Democrats were real racist, blah, 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 and trying to make their case to the black community, uh, you just have to say to them, uh, hey, uh, I'm sorry, but, you know, that was the Dixiecrats. Right. Uh, didn't Strom Thurmond run for president on the, on the Dixiecrat ticket? I think he may have. Yeah. Strom Thurmond did a lot of things. Yeah, including lived to be, what, 102 and it, still served it, in the office. Yeah, and sired black babies. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But so did Thomas Jefferson. Here's the the only member I know of the Ku Klux Klan who gave birth to a black baby. <laughs> you know, who helped birth a black baby. Uh, I don't know nothing about birthing no black baby. You know, I don't know, Miss Scotland. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling How's you. How's New York, man? Uh, New York, it's New York. I went up to Vermont. That's how New York is. See, I got my Vermont t shirt there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I went up to Vermont, so got away from New York. I got my Star Trek Beatles t-shirt. <laughs> it's the best of both worlds. Oh, man. What you doing in Vermont? 
What? Oh, we have some friends who live up there, and we went up and stayed at their place. They have this wonderful place by, on the bay, uh, in Shelburne Bay, uh, and it's it just looks right out on the water, and you wake up in the morning, the sh- sound of gunshots going off as the hunters are trying to kill innocent little ducks. It's duck hunting season. Yeah, no, it's wabbit season. It's wabbit season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it, it's, it's, it's really... bucolic uh, and idyllic and... Hmm? Very bucolic oh, and idyllic. Oh, yeah. I mean, Vermont is is a wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, the uh, I was mentioning last night to a bunch of people that it is so nice that, yeah, kids, they grow up somewhere like a Vermont, and as soon as they become 18, they want to leave and go out and seek their fortune in the world. They don't want to leave Vermont. They want to stay there. So they get these college educations, they get a doctorate or something, and then they serve uh, wait tables in order to survive up there because there are no big jobs to be had. Oh, I bet. But yeah. the, but they're, they the, the, the you stay there. They don't want to leave. They hate the idea of leaving. So I mean, it's really nice. It's really nice, you know. And it's the home of Bernie Sanders, of course. You know. State and, capital Montpelier. Montpelier. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Smallest state capital in America. Is it, it, well, I was told it was very small. I think it might be. How small is it? Yeah, when somebody has to leave, change their, when somebody wants to change their mind, they have to leave town. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's how small it is. I remember all the golden oldies. Uh, the good ones are the old ones. Yeah. I, I've been in Montpelier. I had a wonderful time. I think I stopped for a cheeseburger at a bar. I was struck by the fact that there were no chain stores at least downtown there might have been a mcdonald's on the freeway or something yeah but i didn't see any franchises the other small capitals that i've been in have been juno alaska mm-hmm. which is tiny yeah. state capital is an office building <laughs> right in the middle of a downtown block yeah there's buildings on both sides of it state capital and helena Helena, Montana is tiny. Well, you know, it, it, it usually state capitals aren't the biggest cities in a state. You would think the state capital would be of New York would be New York City, right? You would. You know, but it's Albany. Why is it Albany? I don't know why it's Albany, but I mean, Sacramento's not what at one point was not one of the bigger cities that you, you've been in. You yeah, know. but in 1848, when California was uh, a state, it was a fairly big city. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then they discovered gold. And then they discovered gold. Well, and has, has the smell of uh, burning uh, wood uh, disappeared oh from San Francisco? Oh, my God. They're expecting rain tomorrow, and that'll be 10 days of the fire in Sonoma. But can you and still that- smell it in San Francisco? Ah, we have to keep our windows closed because Debbie's got uh, asthma. And the particulates in the air, I mean, you can, there's people walking around the city with masks. I went to, we're trying to clean out the basement and I'm, I'm getting rid of a lot of books. So I go to a, a, a bookstore and they say, no, we don't want any of the books. So then I go to uh, the library, San Francisco Library book drop off and they were closed yesterday because of the quality of the air. Jeez, that's amazing. <laughs> That's ten nice. days, ten yeah. days of fire. Well, here, are you ready for this? Uh, I, you know, I did all those shows in San Francisco, and I had literally had a cassette of every show that I ever did in San Francisco. Okay, and uh, I have them in a storage locker in Santa Rosa. Oh, you don't. Yes. You lost everything. No. Everything around the storage facility burned to the ground. You know that McDonald's they kept showing? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, that was across the street from it. Everything around it burned except the storage locker. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you know even I was affected by it. Made out of aluminum and concrete. Yeah, it doesn't burn a lot. Well, they don't burn a lot. Yeah, I'm. I don't think that that was the reason it didn't burn. I think they actually it was just luck of the draw. You know, I mean, you you see pictures 
of uh, neighborhoods where a woman's walking into her house and she says, well, thank God my house is safe. And next door, there's like this charred ruin. Yeah, yeah. You know, so uh, there's no way to predict uh, how that's going to happen, how it's not going to happen, and so on. But, well, uh, we need rain to tamp this down. Now there's a another fire in Santa Cruz, and I think that's what we got today. Here, well, here, here no, let me, let me, let me, let me mention this to you that Trump. Oh, oh, look. It's an overcast day in San Francisco, but then again, you, you, that's looking out at the uh, at the uh, ocean, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so that part of that neighborhood is always a little overcast. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's it's uh, euphemistically called the Sunset District, but you can never see the goddamn. Well, 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 the line we used to have was because the sun never sets there. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, or or had or it hasn't risen. I mean, it was always you could be in San Francisco, be a bright sunny day. You go out to the Sunset District and there's fog. I love it. Oh, I I love, I love the fog. For a guy, you know, when when we were both young men and roustabouts yeah. and uh, would leave the comedy club maybe at four in the morning, yeah. maybe later. Yeah, uh, you you would come home and the fog would tamp down everything until you were ready to get up around eleven or noon. Right, you know. And you say your wife has an asthma problem. I would imagine the fog's good for it. It is. It is. You know. So anyway, so that's uh, that when you saw out the window there where he just showed it, uh, that's that's the ocean. Uh, what are you doing? You're tying up your little. Yeah, I got to This is. Uh, uh, a little bracelet they give you in Hawaii so that you can go to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still wearing I'm it? Still wearing it to remind me why I work so hard so I can go back to Hawaii. Go back to the pool. I want to. That's my idea of a vacation. Yeah. I'm not into rappelling down the inside of an active volcano. You know, I did that. I did that. Now, my idea of a vacation is sitting by the pool in Hawaii while waitresses bring me cold beer and I'm reading a mystery novel. To me, that's a vacation. Well, that's what happens when you get older. You know, we go to Vermont and sit on the porch. <laughs> and whittle. And whittle. <laughs> and whittle. Um, so anyway, so uh, let's get around to what's going on here. Um, Trump's losing his mind. If this is true, that he told uh, the the widow of one of the soldiers who died that he knew what he was signing up for, and it sounds like something he would say. You know, it's just blunt. It's yeah. it, no forethought, no grace, no 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 um, uh, any sense of empathy at all. You know, it sounds so much like him. That might even affect his supporters. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing affects well his it, the nerve of him to say, "Well, Obama never sent letters." Obama, you know, I, there's there's a video of Obama and Joe Biden out at the Air Force Base in Washington, whichever one that is, and they they're saluting 44 coffins that are coming off a plane. How dare you say that Obama never sent letters? He called Obama called every parent. Wrote them every parent a letter, you know. I mean, how dare he? What is this thing? He hates Obama. It's all about Obama. It's all about dismantling anything that Obama touched. Yeah. Because it, it, the uppity black guy who made fun of him at the correspondence dinner. Do you remember that correspondence? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? Oh, 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 oh. this is all about that. Really? Yeah. So the end of the world is going to come because he hates Obama. Because Obama made a couple of jokes at his expense. But yeah. he's trying to dismantle everything Obama did, but he's not becoming very successful at it. I mean, he signs proclamations, but then somebody overrides him. Well, yeah, yeah but he's doing a lot of emergency orders uh, that are, uh, you know, defeating uh, Obama's uh, exec. I'm sorry, executive orders that are defeating Obama's executive orders. So he is being effective in that, but he can't. He can't uh, get uh, replace the health care. He he can just destroy it. He can't. He can't get anything done positively. He 
He's just out there destroying everything. Yeah, he's taking an, an axe to it. Yeah, uh, to but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like he's going to be able to dismantle Obamacare, though. It looks like he can try and like he threw a blow at it the other day, and I can't remember what the exact thing was. But then somebody came along and said, "You can't do that." You know. Uh, well, yeah, they're going to try him in court. He tried to get rid of the subsidies. Yeah, that's it. The government subsidies. And he said it was a, a giveaway to the insurance companies. But the insurance companies use that money to subsidize patients who can't afford coverage. And so it's all about the patients. And and uh, so they're going to try that in court. And, and the irony here is those subsidies would affect his supporters by disproportionately, disproportionately, like by a ratio of 70 to 30. So the Democrats might be wise to let the whole thing pass and, and play the long game and then just wait. Yeah. Well, I mean, all these people that voted for uh, for uh, Trump are in for a sad surprise when they find out how their lives are impacted by his presidency. You know. Yeah, but uh, they 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 don't care. They just want a figurehead up there. They want someone to say, "Yeah, it's it's okay for me to to beat up gays and blacks and Jews and women because he said so and he's president." Yeah, in other words, uh, a justification of their misled thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Tired of these people. Uh, but I mean, uh, you intellectual elites think you're so much smarter than us just because you're educated and shit. You know, there was a. <laughs> There was a time when people said to me, let's impeach the guy. And I go, well, you impeach him, but then you got Pence. Now, when they say, uh, let's impeach him, I go, yeah, then we'll have Pence. <laughs> <laughs> Pence is evil, but he's not crazy. He, 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 that's what I was saying to somebody. He, that, that's it, it, I said the same thing about Kim Jong-un. He may be evil, but he's not crazy. Right. Our president is batshit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing about Pence is evil but not crazy. So uh, at least we'll be alive, mm -hmm. you know, to combat his evilatry. You know, whereas with Trump living on the West Coast, man, I don't know. You know, every day without a mushroom cloud is a victory. Yeah, exactly. Like he didn't come out to the fires, you know. No, he didn't. no he he doesn't he he doesn't know what he's he doing. He sent he's, Pence, I think, didn't he? Didn't Pence go out there? Uh, it's it's been busy. I haven't been able to keep uh, keep uh, keep track of yeah. uh, all the politicians grandstanding. But you know, I uh, 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 you know, I just it's just amazing to me that uh, Trump, for instance, he holds a a meeting in the morning and reams out the Republicans, and then he holds a press conference in the afternoon and says how wonderful he and the Republicans are getting along. Does anybody believe anything that dribbles out of his what, gash? Well, you, you know uh, what he's done, for instance, with Iran. America will never be able to sign a treaty again. You know, we, we just don't abide by it. We're, not, we're the ones not abiding by the treaty. Yeah, he is, he is making future yeah. diplomatic relations uh, yeah. just as, yeah. I mean, yeah. you can say anything you want to about... about uh, 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 about Iran and about them helping uh, ISIS and anything you want to, okay? But the one thing that you can't say is that they didn't live by their nuclear accords. They have lived up to them supposedly according to the, the, national, the International Nuclear Administration or whatever that is. They've lived up to it 100%. Well, Trump, see, that's the problem. Trump found these uh, soft spots and he just picked at him during the election, during the campaign he picked at him oh Iran, we gave we gave. Well, no we didn't, but he he was able to say we did he was able to say and, and, and he picked at like four or five spots and now that he's president he, <laughs> he's starting to realize oh I, oh, I see that's important shit oh, okay but it, it doesn't matter. Well, we're not, so, you know, we're not the only ones who signed that agreement. It's a unilateral f agreement among something like five or six different yeah, yeah. nations. Yeah, a lot of countries. A lot of countries. Yeah. So uh, 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 what happens to? Uh, oh, and then he then he says, "This is the one that got me." Uh, 
He says, and we gave them like $150 billion. No, we didn't give them $150 billion. We gave them back $150 We unfroze billion. their money. That was, we unfroze their money, and there was also some money that we owed them because we didn't come through on a contract. So that was what the $150 billion was. It wasn't giving them $150 billion. It was giving them back their $150 billion. Still, it's giving them $150 billion. Will this pain ever stop? <laughs> and, and I'm sure as a political comedian, you're hoping it never does. Uh, yeah, but, you know, the Catholic part of me feels guilty for, you know, this embarrassment of riches. Yeah. And the Jewish part of me goes, eh. Huh? You're half Jewish? No, not half, no. You're part Jewish? I'm an ecumenical smorgasbord is what I am. You know, we sent away to that uh, that Ancestry.com thing. and got the, yeah. it, Well, my test didn't work, so they had to send me a new thing to spit into. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, but they, they did my wife's, and she's, 87, she's 88% Jewish. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. So and, so your kids would be Jewish. Of course, but she's 88% <laughs> Jewish. And I thought, you know, this isn't Ancestry.com. This is the Mormon church because they only care if you're Jewish, not if you're from Poland or you're from Russia. I mean, that's what you want to see, not that yeah, you're yeah, Jewish. Yeah. You know you're Jewish. <laughs> you know. God knows, I know she's Jewish. There's no question about the fact that she she's very Jewish. <laughs> so they weren't they weren't able to you know like locate a, a little coordinate on a grid or no, anything. No, no, they eighty eight percent Jewish. Well, Jewish, that's not really saying what you are. No, you know, no. I want to know how much of me is Polish, how much of me is Russian, how much Romanian. of me is American Indian. I don't know, you know. And they didn't say what the other percent was. Well, oh, they said there was less than a 1% chance she was Chinese. <laughs> How much did this cost? Uh, so, so 69 bucks. Oh, that's it? Yeah. But then you they have hit. The thing that they, they can use your yeah. DNA for the rest oh, of the Oh, they can also the use you on their mailing list to try and sell you every other little goodie they've got going, like, why don't you subscribe to us? And for a year, you can get information about your family, blah, 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 blah. And they go, yeah, fuck you. Just, I spit into the thing, I send it to them, and they send it back to me saying it didn't work. Try again. <laughs> it didn't work. I'm going to spit in it today because I have a blood test, so I'm not eating till 3.15 this afternoon. So I'm going to spit into it today and get it and, and you know, do it. But, hey, hey, listen, we've run out of time here. God, we're not a carbon-based life form. In fact, I'm we've sorry. actually run over. Always good to see you, uh, my dear friend, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again in another couple of weeks, right? I'm totally in. You take it easy. Stick around and we'll figure out another date. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful, the attractive, uh, and he's funny too, Will Durst. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, and that was our old friend Will Durst. It's amazing how fast I change my cap, isn't it? Uh, anyway, and cameras and everything. Anyway. Uh, welcome back to our fine little program. Oh, why do I sound I sound a little muffled tonight? No, oh, well, I don't care. Uh, muffled is as muffled does. Anyway, how are you? Uh, I am Alex, and uh, that was Will, and we always enjoy having Will on the show. I got a problem over here. I got a uh, I got a little machine that uh, that doesn't uh, doesn't um, um, doesn't seem to want to. Uh, take the picture uh my my well on my mac my chrome will not it will not uh will not uh you know the picture will freeze up and things like that but i have safari over here and this thing is rock solid so i've got the safari up as a reference for me uh and uh over on the girlfriend's machine picture's fine but it keeps stalling on on mine i have no idea why but, you know, nothing ever works right. Anyway, I'm going to turn on the uh, the lines here. I've been having a stomachache tonight, but I think I'm better now. I, I think I finally got what 
whatever it was uh, that I that I needed to get rid of. Uh, um, so I'm feeling a little little better. Um, my IBS been acting up, all kinds of things. And then I went out. I had a. Well, by the way, the phones are on. I had a blood draw today. Oh, that's always fun when you have a blood draw. Right. You know what I found out? I used to, you know, all of us kind of mind going in and having them stick a needle in your arm and then draw blood out. That, that, that's uh, there are very few people that that can go through that without, you know, being apprehensive. But I was in the hospital for four and a half days with this damn kidney stone. And they did so many blood draws on me that now I just put my arm out and I go do it. Boom. They do it. You know. So I had to do it to get a P a P my latest PSA test to see if it's if it's changed at all, and uh, <laughs> I thought I was beyond that. You know, if you read all the literature, it says that it, it, the PSA test, in case people don't know, is a, a test that ch checks for the uh, prostate-specific antigen, and if it's rising, they think you might have prostate cancer, but that's only. If it rises a lot, only about 75% of the time is it right, okay? Sometimes it is absolutely right. In the case of, uh, of Phil Meyer, I guess it was, right, Phil? Uh, what's that? You know, when I, I was turn off... I was, talking about, uh, I was talking about the PSA test. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it wasn't so much that it was right. Uh, it was uh, an indicator to check further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, when they did... They, uh, you know, they. Do you they know 70, the, 75 percent of the time when when you have a kind of the kind of rise you had, which was pretty precipitous, right. okay, only twenty five percent of the time is there any kind of cancer there, and oh. if you have, it may be a prostate cancer that's so slow that it's not worth doing anything about. Yeah, well, I'm going in Sunday uh, to get another PSA. Uh, you know, I just walk, walk in at eight in the morning and I'm the first guy there. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I took Cipro to see if I had an infection that was causing this rise in PSA. Yeah. And I can tell you that there's been a difference in my ability to urinate and, uh, well, not I think in your, I did have an not, in, not, not in your ability to urinate, but in your he has hasten. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. In other words, it's better you not having to go to the bathroom. Well, maybe your PSA will go down. You don't I, know. I'm thinking I'm thinking it will. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't have cancer. They found that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, I'll get it taken care of. And then, uh, you know, but hey, enough cancer talk. Uh, so, any, uh, are you having the same issues I'm having with Sierra freezing? No, no. Oh. Okay, because you said that you had a machine that would freeze every once in a while while you were watching it. Not that it was affecting. No, 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 the no. It, it's my Mac. And yeah, mine it, too. but but it's the browser. It's you know, and and the browser is freezing. It was doing it before I I changed to High Sierra, which is oh. their, their new operating system. So yeah. So I, well, I I don't think you're having troubles with High Sierra. I think you're just having troubles. Yeah, I think so too. I just uh, haven't been able to. I mean, on the other hand, on the other hand, I'm running, uh, I'm running Safari right now to look at the picture, and it's rock solid. You know? Yeah. It's rock hey, solid. Hey, it's a good, it's a good browser. Yeah. 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 And uh, it doesn't have all the issues uh, that all the Microsoft browsers have. It doesn't get you know how many updates do you well, get? Microsoft doesn't uh, have any. Well, my, my Microsoft browsers. The only one they have is. Uh, is well. Uh, they they, um, they have this thing yeah, for Windows 10 too. for Windows 10. They don't have Explorer anymore. Oh, okay. Well, I still use Explorer at work, so I I didn't know that it's. They gone. don't even it, it, no. They don't even have that now. They have a thing called Edge. I think it's called. Let me see here. What's the name of it? Yeah, Microsoft Edge. Um, well, uh, everybody's been complaining to me lately that the machines you type and then the letters come up slowly. So I'm going to have to buy new workstations. And uh, so the new workstations will come with 10, and I'll have to figure it out. I've never used 10. Yeah. They're also, computers are so small now. Girlfriend says at her office now, her computer's about the size of a mini Mac. Really? Yeah. Uh, is it an, not an all-in-one, is it? it? Well, I mean, you've got a screen. You attach a screen to it. You know, no, it's not oh, an all-in-one. So it's a separate CPU. Right. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just going to call Dell. Uh, I have an account with them. They just... 
uh, I'll have the IT guy tell me what to get. And, Why Dell? Do you like to get ripped off? Uh, no, but that's that's what I've been using all these years. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, try, Lenovo's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Lenovo. I have a We do this show with a Lenovo, and it's uh, yeah. it's fine. You know. Well, you know, uh, it's, uh, I I would be happy with uh, you know whatever works. Yeah. And, um, you know, the thing about Dell is, uh, I, you know, I don't know the thing about Dell. I guess my guy is uh, can fix them, uh, and they pay for in-store fixing. You know, yeah. they, they, they'll come to the store and fix everything. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, so yeah. many years. I keep having trouble with this damn, uh, uh, yeah, there, there we go. That's my, I'm looking, I'm looking now at my, uh, 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 what Chrome? Uh, yeah. I, I think there's some problems with Chrome, to tell you the truth. That's yeah. a possibility. You know, uh, because, and the, yeah. the thing about Chrome is, I get a screen when I first open it up, and it's got like the last six or eight places that you went to on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, luckily, uh, it hasn't put the porno site on there. But well, uh, well, one day it may, well, and somebody I, will open up my computer. <laughs> you know, you can create all kinds of tabs on the top, so you just go yeah. to the tabs for various stuff. And it could be I've got just too many tabs now, and it's slowing yeah. down the brow. It's slowing down the browser. That could be what the problem is, but I don't know. I'm going to try and do a sparser version of the browser and see what uh, what comes up. But yeah. you know, anyway. Hello, Mike. How are you this evening? Are you there, Mike? He's. Uh, I have a picture on him, but it's no movement. I think he's frozen, and I yeah. don't think he's there. Well, we know he's not all there, but... Uh, either, <laughs> you know. either that or we finally lost him. Let me yeah. get rid of him here. Uh, yeah, right. let me do that, because he was... Uh, there we go. And so we're back to you. Yeah. Uh, well... Uh, Nice show last night, although uh, uh, there's a guy that uh, you included in the troll list, and he's actually a very nice guy, uh, uh, this Frank Strapoli. Uh, and he, he was kind of hurt uh, that he got called a moron. You know, I, well, I understand that, uh, you know, Trump got called a moron, too, by uh, Tillerson. Yeah, but but I, didn't, uh, I, didn't, I didn't call Strapoli a fucking moron. So, you know, <laughs> right. yeah, uh, that's better. Uh, you know, uh, he, you know, he, he um, uh, he's, he's been a loyal listener and he didn't mean to do anything that was wrong. He, he no, was he just, just he, trying. He, uh, I guess he didn't listen to the beginning no, of the show. He, when he, I heard he, the beginning he, he, he of the just show said, today, I can't remember. He said some stupid stuff and I, I just, you know, it's just it was ridiculous. About Facebook. Huh? He was, he was about Facebook. I think he was just trying to report. Oh, no, he was saying my face. You, you go back to go back to Facebook. Well, we were, yeah. we were on Facebook last night. We were just on another page of Facebook. Yeah, well, he didn't understand that, and uh, you know, you know, but he's actually he's well. A that good qualifies guy. in my mind as a moron. <laughs> well, give him a break. You know, he's he's a good guy. Well, and, I, and he actually, likes I don't care. All of one us. less listener. We have a lot of one less listeners continually. So you know, um, well. Yeah. Hey, you know, you keep it up, then there's none. Hey, unless, uh, the only way I will respect you is if you call the show. Then I'll treat you well. Oh, well, what about me? Oh, well, you... <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 well, that's all showbiz right there, you know. Yeah, so, that's true. So, you know. That's true. You know, I hey, don't, you know, you know, I don't, I, I, don't, I, I don't hate you, you know. Yeah. I despise <laughs> you, but I don't hate you. Oh, I know. Nice. You know, hey, when we chat privately, it's it's always congenial and nice and friendly, oh, and there's yeah. never any issues. Well, we've known each other for years, I think. Uh, yeah. Patrick is there, and there's Kevin, we and there's Jeff, and Susan's there's... Yellow Camaro. What? You even loaned me once Susan's Yellow Camaro when somebody rear-ended uh, in my car, and uh, you, you loaned me her car. So, you know, you must have known me. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't remember the Yellow Camaro. Uh, yeah, you got her this Camaro. It was uh, kind of beat up, and it no, had. She uh, bought it. No, I think she bought it. I mean, with my money, but she bought it. Yeah. That was after we were separated, I think. Uh, may no, I think you were still living in. I, I don't know. I don't remember. I, you know, I don't remember most of my life now. 
You know, yeah. it's it's pathetic. It's I absolutely understand. pathetic. I understand. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, we got we got a we got a crowd. We got a nice okay. little group here. We got uh, we got Kevin there. And we got Patrick and we got Jeff and and we got Tony. And who knows who else? Oprah for president, right? You see, I always yeah, know we. Ha- I know. I always know we have enough people. Uh, when I can put the Gabnet Live thing on top of the picture, at the very top. So, I, I gotta know. Uh, Trump says he didn't say it. What what is it that uh, they're they're claiming he said today uh, or yesterday to the uh, woman that's uh, son was killed? Uh, I know he said something like, uh, "Well, he knew what he was signing up for." Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He said that. I can see yeah. how that can be misinterpreted or taken out of context. Well, no, 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 no. no it, it, look, uh, the the woman was in the room. The congresswoman was in the room when this other woman took the call. They took it in the car, yeah. and I don't care how. We take it. I care how the mother, the wife took it, and she, yeah, she took it. Happy. She was not happy. Uh, well, she could have been crying anyway. But no, uh, no, no, no. You try to make too many. I see things get taken out of sessions. Look at uh, Jeff Sessions this morning. Uh, yeah. Is in front of uh, in front of the Senate okay. committee, yeah. and they ask him uh, if he had contact with uh, the Russians, and uh, they try to trip him up. And what he said was, he said, look, these were the questions that you asked me during the initial thing. Mm -hmm. And this is the this is the reason I answered that no in the context of those questions. And it made a lot of sense. And uh, uh, it was uh, uh, Leahy that was uh, questioning him at the time. Uh, And, you know, I don't think Sessions lied. But I know that Jeff wants to say something. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. <laughs> but what kind of drugs are you taking today? Uh, well, yeah, I want to uh, try some. You should yeah, share. Good ones. Good ones. <laughs> you know, once in a while, I like to give my wife a couple of those. Just to, yeah. to resolve a problem, uh, discussion, discussions that are uh, both of us uh, can't seem to understand what we're saying. Yeah. Why, did you marry a Republican? <laughs> <laughs> it's no, crazy. But, I listen to that thing. This yeah. guy is just <laughs> lying, 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 lying. Every time he says something, there's a new story. But he really didn't but say But that, that, that's what everybody in this administration is doing. Nobody has a straight story. Nobody is yeah. consistent in their replies to stuff. Did you see his body language? I didn't see a lot of blinking. I didn't see anything that would have indicated that he was lying. He hasn't blinked in 50 years, for crying out loud. That guy has been dead for that long and walking the face (laughs) of the planet. He hasn't blinked. Him and Mitch. Him and Mitch. Uh, The only one that couldn't blink on that panel was Feinstein. She's had so many facelifts and chin lifts that, uh, you know, she can't move. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice to make fun of somebody's facelifts. Really. Yeah, well, why not? But, you hey, know, you know, uh, but, but no, but let, let's get back to this whole thing about, I mean, every day it's a different pissing match with Trump, you know? I mean, with Obama, we didn't get this drama. You know, Obama sat there and did his job, and he never lashed out at anybody, never picked fights with people, you know? What about the cop uh, that uh, arrested the black professor when he first got uh, elected in, uh, in Boston? And uh, he had to ha- he had to buy the guy a beer to apologize. No, he you didn't. Know, have he to was buy- involved he in all sorts of stuff. He, he, he but he did it. Do you think Trump would do that? Do you think Trump would do that? Apologize. Well, he doesn't apologize. Oh well, then then let's 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 you know give Obama some credit for the fact that he knows how to apologize and blink. Yeah, well, that's true. But Sessions did not blink. I mean, I was looking. I was trying to look at his body language. I was trying to look at his facial expressions when he got asked the questions. Either this guy is really good, uh, and uh, you know he's the uh, the, the Mengele of, uh, <laughs> of of of, uh, uh, of attorney generals, but or he's uh, he's telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, who knows? You know. I mean, it's it's uh, oh. it, it's. Uh, you got Jeff as the uh, yeah, reason. Jeff. Just Jeff. Wouldn't you expect that a guy who's the Attorney General of the United States could answer these simple, 
the questions simply, clearly. He's trying to trip him up. And, 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 and you're tripping me up? <laughs> Come yeah, on. Basic question. Yeah. Well, Your whole job is 99% of <laughs> tripping people up and watching. Don't ask him anything. You didn't get tripped up. Didn't up. Didn't the answer. Franken. Well, you know, Franken. Did you see yeah, yeah, Franken, uh, you know, uh, do his thing. That you want to, ex- you know, I doubt Franken. I think Franken's great. Yeah, I know Phil. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I'm, n- I've never been too terribly fond of Al Franken over the years because I've, I've felt he was po- politically an opportunist. But in recent years, he does say stuff that I agree with. You know, I mean, he is speaking what I, some of my belief systems. So I, I, I can't. I can't give him a bad time for that. I'm know? just waiting for him to say food fight. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but he, you know, here's the question with Trump that I kind of find amazing, really, is that every time Wait, he uh, says well, I'm waiting. If you're talking about television catchphrases, I'm waiting for Trump to say you're fired. Oh, wait a minute. He does that every other day. Does, Excuse oh, me. Has. Yeah. No, but it's like every time he says something, he always like, well, I didn't mean it like that or... Oh, they're lying about this, and I. It's like he can never fess up to like saying any. Like he's never wrong. It's always like it's it's. Oh, I didn't if he know. were Harvey, like, he if he were Harvey, like, if, if he were Harvey Weinstein, he would use this as excuse. Well, I didn't put it all the way in. That's just Trump, you know. <laughs> that like a- <laughs> he's full of beans. That's all Trump is. They say he probably can't even eat out anymore. No, I'm just getting tired. I mean, one day I'd like to come on the show here and not have to talk about Trump. But every day there is something he does that you got to talk about. It's got to bother Phil. I mean, really, come on. He insulted Uh, Phil. I I I think by now Phil is a left wing Democrat, but won't tell us (laughs) because you can't possibly be proud of that guy. Actually, I'm I'm happy with a lot of the things that he's doing. Like what? Really? What is like he he's doing? Every one thing. What is he, he doing? Does, he's crossed the aisle. Uh, on, oh, really? On this oh, thing. not today. <laughs> not today. It turned around the other way now, and he's now not for the other aisle. Well, we'll see. You no, know, he changes uh, every day. One day he says, I love the Democrats because they're going to help me yeah. on health care. And the next day is, I hate the Democrats because they're going to help me on health care. Well, I mean, he just, uh, he just, yeah. he's just—he's never consistent, you know. We're never going to be able to sign an in, another international treaty ever again because nobody. Want to. Why? Why? Because you want these be, guys. You want to be know, an ice not, not you want, in a world that where the economics are international economics. You want to become an isolationist? No, that's you're uh, nuts, Phil. You're fucking nuts. Doing. But hey, if if it was uh, if that was the case, let's put this in the perspective of fish because you know Mike was in the fish business. Yeah. Uh, you you're out there. You've got as much fish as you can put in the net, but you can't sell your fish because you have to compete with the guys in other countries that are working for a bowl of rice uh, for and 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 fishing, and they're they're getting their fish a lot cheaper, and they're allowed to yeah. bring oh, it in and sell sense. it here. It's making sense. Like if I were to say to uh, to uh, Mike, uh, Mike, you have one fish, and uh, Phil has one fish, and then the question is, what is the square root of the apple tree? No, no, and Tony has no fish, but I got I don't like fish to Tony because he, he doesn't have any fish. And I, I smell like fish, but that's your girlfriend. Thank you very much, and I'm out of here. My mother, I would never eat fish because I told my mom I don't like, I just like fish cakes, like the frozen ones. Uh, that's I like the regular fish. I can't eat them. I, I, I smell it. Fish. She wants me. I won't eat it. By the no. way, by the way, today, I don't want to change the subject, but this is the show, by the way, if you listen to it, folks, where we're constantly changing the subject. Uh, I went to Whole Foods today. I haven't been oh, to Whole Foods in I don't know how long. How mainly, long mainly because I just never found their stores that good. But I, but I went to get this blood draw today uh from a woman she was very funny the woman who was doing it i she i said something to her and she says no i'm a vampire <laughs> really <laughs> yeah 
Hey, did you get line. that survey that uh, ho- uh, that Costco's food, which is probably processed, I don't, is, is 52% cheaper than Whole Foods? Oh, so everything's you, 52% be. cheaper than Whole Foods. Although, yeah, well, although Whole be. Foods, although, although Whole that. Foods is getting cheaper because Amazon owns it now, and Amazon is used to giving bargains, you know, uh, mm. and giving things at a lower price. But I went in today and I figured, eh, what the hell? I'll get some stuff, you know. I'm, I'm in the I'm up here on 125th Street. I'll go in and take a look at the Whole Foods and, you know, see how it is. So I go in and I buy. I see sourdough bread, right? So I buy a butt of the, you know, loaf of the sourdough bread and also a Clamata olive bread, okay? Because I find eating bread for me doesn't put weight on me for some reason. It's not, I'm, one of these days I'll look at on the scale and go, well, it caught up with me. But it, so far it hasn't. And I come home here. and, you know, I'm from San Francisco. I love sourdough bread, right? Who doesn't? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This was terrible. It tasted nothing like it didn't taste like sourdough French bread. It didn't sound taste like sourdough bread. It sucked. Yep. You know, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it out. The Clamata olive loaf was okay, but not as good as the stuff I got at Italy a couple of weeks ago. You know, so I mean, uh, and then I have a stomach ache now because I bought some pork and some chicken off of their hot plate thing because see i couldn't eat all day because i was having a blood test and i had to do this interview with durst so i had to make the blood test at 3 15 in the afternoon which meant since midnight last night till 3 15 this afternoon i didn't eat so the first place i hit was the the hot plate at uh at uh whole foods and i've got a tear i got a stomach ache now from all of that you know yeah and my doctor once told me, if you ever want to find out if, if what food is you're reacting to, just think back six hours. And six I hours a, ago, I was eating that shit from Whole Foods. I had a test done once called an Alcat test. My nutritionist did it for me. And what it was was they take your blood and they send it to this lab in Florida. Yeah. And they test it against 200 different foods and, and uh, chemicals yeah. to see which ones will give you inflammation now not everybody's reaction is the same so i actually get inflammation from steak but i don't get it from chicken or pork Mm -hmm. and so they're able to test that now she says what you need to do as you take probiotics and you get healthier uh is you need to then start introducing these foods one at a time if they give you a reaction of inflammation uh the way like msg does uh, to most people then you know don't don't take that one. So they give you a list where these foods are safe, these foods are cautionary, yeah. and these foods you need to stay away from until your gut heals. Well, I got rid well, of got, yeah, but I got rid of my IBS by using probiotics, and now it seems to be coming back. Uh, but uh, I'm trying to survive it, you know, because if I get to the other side, it, I go back to being fine again. Yes, Mike. Well, turn on your mic, Mike. Then we hear you. Yeah. What? There it is. Yeah. Okay. There's a li- on your list, Phil. There's a list of any type of fish. Uh, no, but uh, basically, uh, oh, somebody's got some audio on. But basically, uh, she said that if I, even though I don't have Crohn's disease. Uh, if I had reactions to anything, I, I, she said that what I looked like was someone with Crohn's. That, that's how. Well, they said you looked like a crone. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Not a cone head, but a crone. So, uh, you know, so because there were so many things, and that was in 2011. Now I, I've introduced other foods. I've been taking probiotics for several years, and uh, I am uh, feeling much better. But there was a point that I couldn't even complete a, a sentence without uh, being short of breath. And uh, a lot of that was due to the inflammation uh, that, that I had. Yeah. And, but by identifying these things, I knew to stay away from Either it. Either that or, or we've gotten to know you long enough that on this program, sometimes you keep talking so much you don't come up for yeah, air. Right. You know, yeah. So. I couldn't do that before. 
back in 2011, I, I went diving uh, on this one trip uh, just as I started doing this mm -hmm. uh, diet. Mm -hmm. uh, and I kept coughing into my regulator. It was very uncomfortable. Now uh, I'm I'm fine. And there, most of these differences okay. were due to well, the anyway. foods I was eating. So I'm hoping my stomach will settle down. Anyway, listen, I I'm going to do this uh, on the show here. Mm -hmm. uh, I got you know I I took the uh, the DNA test from uh, from uh, uh, Ancestry.com, right? Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, I, I failed. Somehow they couldn't get a reading on me. They so sent you a closet. So they going sent up? me. They sent me this new test. Okay. Yeah. What'd you say, Phil? You were closet glam. No, no. But but girlfriend is eighty eight percent Jewish. Like we didn't fucking know that. Yeah. Well, they don't yeah. know the difference between Jews and everybody well, to begin else. With, I don't want to hear that I'm. I don't. I don't want to hear that I'm. I, I was telling Durst. I don't want to hear that I'm 88 percent Jewish. I want to know that I'm 15 percent Polish and 20 percent Russian. You know, it, Jewish is too broad a, f a category. It, it was good know? enough for the Nazis. It was good enough for the Nazis. So anyway, so I have the kit here, and I thought I I would uh, do the test right here on the air. Yeah. Uh, and um, this is just a swab. You don't smell. No, it, it isn't a swab. Here's here's no? what you do. Here you got this. Uh, first of all, you've got this thing, right? Which is a. Uh, can you see that? It's like a Spittle. thing with a with a little little trough on top, and then uh, you got this other stuff. Okay. So what you do? Wait a minute. I gotta pull this stuff out. There we go. Okay. Let me throw that off off to, off to the side. Then what you got to do is you've got to. Oh God, I lost. Oh. Yeah. It's contaminated now. No, no, no. no yeah. No, no, it's not, I haven't started it yet. <laughs> what they, what they tell you to do is to spit up to the black line. If you see, there's a black line there, folks. Holy you Jesus! See it. Black lines matter. Uh, actually, I did it when I did it last time. I thought I was going to take a hell of a lot of spit to do that, and it really didn't. Let's stop so anyway, so what you do is you. Uh, and I think my mouth's kind of clear of stuff. So we're going to, this is the one we're going to send out. So I have to spin in you're, here. You're, you're, you're sure that's not the duty test one? You send your duty Let in the see, box. How far like up is it already? <laughs> hmm. Am I up to the top already? No. Let's use it for duty and then they send it out for this ancestry thing. What? <laughs> and, uh, no, uh, in uh, Salt Lake City. Poop in a box. <laughs> yeah. Hey, all it Jews says, look alike. Says, so what? Put it you, up you to here. Jewish or everything else? <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess that. I guess I did it. Uh, you know. Well, make sure it's not bubbly. It's bubbly. <laughs> well, wait till it settles down then, and give it well, more. It's still bubbly. Look at that. See, it's bubbly there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shake it down. Shake it up tap, a little bit. Tap it like a syringe. If he shake shakes it up, he'll get more bubbles. Well, wait a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this spit. Hold on. That might not be. All, it might be uh, the other twenty percent of non-Jewish spit. Why don't you have somebody else spit in it and see if they still say you're Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. Okay. Okay. Oh, now, now, now no, it's just for the heck of it, Alex. Why don't you pee in it and just send them what and say what it says? <laughs> hey, at eighty bucks a shot. <laughs> <laughs> you really screw with the lab. Huh? Okay. Here. Yeah. What? Well, okay. A little more. Let me see here. A little more. Mm. A cornucopia of spit. <laughs> uh, is the spit high enough? I have get... to excuse myself, Alex, because Coco's got to go out. And spit? <laughs> no, i got to walk her before she goes on the floor. Okay. I th uh, I'll try to call back. Yeah, uh, good. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've got enough to spit. Help Coco to call. I don't know if I've got enough, <laughs> well, spit, enough spit in here because a lot of it is frothy. <laughs> You well, know. just wait a little and uh, and then add to it. Wait a minute. Tim, Tim's calling here. He's joining the group. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, hello. He's a uh, from way back. Tim, are you there? Let me see. Yeah, here. you know that that company's owned by a, a, what used to be the Cosa Nostra. What? 
They're, they're going to use your DNA to spread around at three or four different crime scenes in New York City. They're all Russians. Yeah. So, Let's see. Okay, well, I'm going sure, to... Uh, hey, Kevin, are you sure on that one? I think I've got enough spit in there now. Okay, so now you're supposed to... Let me show you here. Take the top off here. Take this top off. All right? Yeah, it's almost up there. Let me try a little more. There we go. Okay, there we're fine now. Then you, do, you then no. Line? Then you do this. Then you then you you twist this. You tighten to release the stabilizing fluid. So we put, take the stabilizing fluid. We put it on the top of here, and we tighten it to. Well, it's not doing it. Hey, sir. What? I just I just tuned in. Are you showing us how to make crack cocaine? What? Yes. There we go. Now, okay. is, is the that, blue stuff. Very, very profitable. Yeah, the blue stuff. Excellent. That was the best TV show, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, there Breaking it Bad? There it goes. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Great. Now I'm supposed to shake it for five seconds. What, my bad thing? Uh, let me yeah. see here. All right. All right. Shake the tube for at least five seconds. I'm going to do it for more than that, just so that. Okay. And then it says, place the whole concoction in the bag. Okay, so we put the top in there. Okay, so then we have this bag <coughs> with a seal on it. So uh, um, I'm, see this, folks, there's spit now, and there's that blue stuff in there. Uh, uh, then you shake that a couple of times after you put the blue stuff I got, in. I got to take this off the, off the thing here. <laughs> Oh, I then, see what happens. Then okay, okay. So we put it in here. Yeah. Okay, we put it in there. Oh man. What is this for? What is this thing? I have no idea. Is this to wipe your mouth after you spit? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, wait a minute. It's they got a name for Trump's bag. movie of the week. Uh, put it in the camera. And then uh, seal the bag with the adhesive strip. I'm just going to keep that. that napkin in there just in case it's something they need anyway let me see here then let me close this shut there we go we've sealed it shut and then i take this box okay and i uh, that was not easy i mean you can't tell where the spit is so anyway hey alex yeah uh how much are you get how much did you get paid to make this infomercial, uh, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, well, you, well, you know that you know you know who Ancestry.com is. Oh yes, yes I do. It, who? You tell him. Tell him. Said it was the Godfather. No, no. Latter Day. It's, yeah, Church of Latter Day Saints. So it's, it's the Mormons. Oh. Yeah. It's the Mormons. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's the Mormons. It, it started. I like Scientology at, well, better it, myself. It, but... it, it, yeah, well, that makes you feel like it's more fun. Uh, but you like grabbing those cans, huh? It's sci-fi, man. <laughs> yeah, he's a regular. He's a re he's a regular Weinstein or Weinstein. He likes to grab the cans. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's right. Anyway, so here's my little box, and it's ready to go get mailed. So. Postage paid? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I went to the uh, post office today. I like to buy stamps that are unusual. So they have, they give you a book, you flip through the book, and right. I saw these stamps. They're um, stamps to show the eclipse. And supposedly, yeah. if you put your finger on it, the, the little black dot changes color. Yeah, I couldn't get it to change color, but uh, I bought a couple pages of them. Yeah. You know, have, have you seen those? And, and then they also reissued stamps that look like they're from 1903. Hey, Brian. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, you know what's coming out next week, um, Phil? What? Uh, Puerto Rico stamps before and after. Ah. Uh, oh, pretty good. It, maybe it's too soon. Nah, too it's soon. never too soon. You know, and, and Trump makes jokes, and uh, they're not too soon. He's the president. Yeah, but nobody understands them. Well, he's not nearly as good a joke teller as, as what joke. He's, he's not as good as Sessions. Sessions is in my absolute favorite. Uh, <laughs> what joke did he tell today that uh, uh, you know made you? Uh, he was he laugh. was invoking uh, executive privilege on his own um, because he's hoping the president will save his, save well, his butt. Uh, 
didn't he? You can't as a, claim confidentiality. As you can't claim I can't talk about anything because I talked to the president. Well, no, I he said. No, that's not what he said. He said if if certain conversations, because he's... No, 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 they're not privileged, Phil. They told him last time when he comes back, he'll need to tell him where he, whether he's going to exert uh, executive privilege. And obviously well, Trump doesn't like him, so he didn't invoke it. Besides, it makes Trump look guilty. And they just let him fry there, and he you cannot claim confidentiality. He didn't there claim no confidentiality uh, for Trump. What he said was that certain things were discussions between the attorney general and the that's president. Not, yeah, no. yeah. But that's not and, and, no. And the following claimed, words were used. He claimed it was private, not not. Uh, no. And what he said was, for instance, Trump had introduced or talked about a piece of evidence. So he was able to talk about it uh, because it was already brought to light. Now, he wasn't claiming court procedures just because he's the president and he, he he wants to be able to use executive privilege. But they even read to him in the law that he's referenced the fact that he can uh, he could decide not to in, invoke an executive privilege and go ahead and provide evidence, because that's what he does all the well, time. Well, that could taint uh, things that he discussed. Uh, that's incorrect. They can, they can force him, they can find him in contempt of court, but it's run by the Republicans, so they won't. They what is that, like what is that noise? Wait a minute, what is that noise? That is Brian. Is that Brian? No. That's the food du jour. What's the food du jour tonight, Brian? Yeah. Huh? Dark chips. Dark uh, chips. Some weird... When some weird uh, potato chips that I found. Boy, you are always uh, uh, when you're on this show, you're always grazing. <laughs> Why not? You know who hasn't said a word tonight? Patrick. Patrick. He's been quiet, quiet, quiet. I'm suspicious when you're quiet, Patrick. You should be of the quiet ones. Oh, hold on a second. He was about to say something. What? Nothing after the conversation. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, thing. I, I think he I think he would find um, CYA. That that's good enough for me. CYA? Uh, what do you mean? Cover his cover ass. your ass. Uh, cover your ass. Oh, you mean you think Sessions was trying to cover his ass? I have no problem with what he did. He didn't do anything illegal. Um, and you know, I mean, Al Franken's an asshole anyway. I mean, that guy. All he likes to do is, is act like a senator, and he's not. He's, he's a fucking comedian, just the same as Trump is a talk show host or a game show host. Well, so, why, wait a minute, but why can't we let people m uh, matriculate into new jobs? I mean, uh, Al Franken do. wasn't a comedian for quite a few years before he became senator. You won't let Trump do it. Right, and that was going to be my point. Is everybody jumping on Trump that... He can't, but yet when Al Franken ran, everybody said, well, take him serious right now. And you know I don't like Trump, but you know <clears> what? I don't like Al Franken either, and Al Franken's been in there forever for, what, four years now? Yeah. Five, six years, something like that? Right? that. Yeah, I'd say the amount of time, though, that Al Franken wasn't uh, in uh, on TV was a lot longer time than the space between Trump and the presidency. Trump being oh, on TV in the presidency. But, but people were, look at Jesse Ventura was elected, and he's a fucking wrestler. I mean, the people... Also elected, a Navy SEAL, uh, Patrick. Yeah, but... That, but also, I mean, both uh, Franken and Ventura. Now, Franken, if he's an asshole off camera, he's an asshole off camera. But you can't say that Franken and Ventura both and even Schwarzenegger to an extent, but Schwartz, but uh, those two weren't politically conscious of events before they uh, ran for elected office. And Schwarzenegger was a terrible governor. Uh, I, I don't know about that, but as far as Ventura and uh, Franken are concerned, from what I understand, they were both, you know, astutely aware of political events, unlike it seems Trump was. Well, Trump has always been involved politically. He's he's been courted by just about every person. Now maybe they're courting him for donations, but uh, his uh, his opinion uh, uh, w was seeked out by 
you know, many people in the political uh, arena. Who? Both, Who? Both sides. Who? Who? Well, I, I remember uh, that when the pre when the elections uh, between Obama and uh, uh, the the Republican candidates all went and visited Trump at Trump Tower and and had meetings with him, uh, you know, uh, basically to get his blessing. I don't and, remember that. Oh, well, that's because they were Republicans and you're not looking no, at that No, I stuff. pay attention to that. I just feel that Donald Trump basically doesn't know anything about politics. Well, these people seem to court him and his money and his opinion. Oh, they were courting his money. Well, oh. that's it. Yeah. And, and he was continually commenting on uh, on uh, a number of things. But, you know, he's he's been out front and right about a lot of things, even even this take a knee thing. Now, Roger Goodell says that if you take a knee, you don't play. No, he didn't say that. He, well, didn't, he didn't even begin to say nope. that. He nope. said that nope. it is a it is a policy that you are to kneel. Everything is the same. But. They, they didn't say you have to or there will be any kind of consequences if you didn't. I was just right. watching CBS. And, well, I'm and sorry. I, him and I, saw, I saw what Goodell said and every newscast said he didn't. He just stated the continue the present rule book. Yes, Patrick. More importantly, Bill, after the Goodell uh, news conference, yeah. Trump tweeted out too much talk, not enough action. Uh, stand for the answer. So, Roger Goodell did nothing. He pushed it out like he has been. So, okay. Why did I see the thing that said uh, if they because, don't? Because if they because don't you're one of the most the mis you're they the, don't play. Because you're one of the most misinformed people in America. Well, <laughs> actually, what you may have seen was Jerry Jones again. No, it was Roger Goodell. But maybe you know, I don't know what either of them look no, like. No, I oh, I saw uh, they made a big deal out of it tonight on the nightly news that what Goodell said was not that they would anything would be done about it, but that it is the policy of the NFL that you're to stand during the uh, the national anthem. But it's a policy; it's not a rule. And he well, said it was going to be dealt for the one-on-one -on -one basis. You know, in, in my business, I have a thing called policies and procedures. And as far as I'm concerned, a yeah. policy is a rule. You do this hey, or you Phil, don't Phil, I got work. news for you. You're not the, yeah, but you're they not don't the NFL. Yeah, involved with the law or the, the, uh, the Bill of Rights. It doesn't involve that. Do you have something in your... In and your... by the way, by the way, right, yeah. uh, Goodell has to also be served two masters. He he wants to kind of keep Trump happy so that he doesn't yes. blast him. But on the other hand, he's yep. got a bunch of black players he doesn't want to piss off. Yep. Well, for instance, I have rules like nobody is to solicit... I don't solicit care about your leads. rules. We're talking about an entirely different well, it's, situation. It's the same thing. No, Didn't... it's not. No, it's not. No, no it's, yes, it doesn't it's... play itself out the same way. Yes, Patrick. Look at it this way, Phil. The NFL is the McDonald's, and then each team is a franchise. And what I got out of the meeting today, or the conference, is each team, which would be each franchise, can deal with it separately. And it's not an overriding policy that's going to be enforced by the NFL. Uh, well, I, I didn't see the news conference. I only saw the snippets on CS CBSN. You yeah, know. that's yeah. what I thought, too. But that was what I said. But like I said, the main thing was Trump was not happy, but it was, man, Goodell is not really going to be a policy. So. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I think it's semantics. And Trump shouldn't have a damn thing to say about it anyway, because as a conservative, I don't want the government interfering with private business. Well, you know, you know what I mean? Here's what, here's, here's what bothers me about this whole um, um, uh, humbug that's going on about, as P.T. Barnum would call it, the humbug that's going on about the NFL. It is only a distraction that Trump is creating to keep your eye off of Russia and a lot of other things. Uh, it is not an important. It is not an important thing. If he had, if ha, if he hadn't brought it up and made it into a big deal, nobody would be talking about it, and not as many guys would be kneeling. Well, uh, now Cap uh, Kaepernick, for instance, uh, is saying that he would stand if given the chance to play again. Although I didn't uh, hear him say that. And, when did he say that? When did he say that? 
He just, said that the is, other day. Is it the same yeah, thing? The same thing? Week, you, yeah, because yeah. you imagine yeah. what Goodell said. You imagine the Kaepernick said no, it. No, hey, Kevin. Kevin just backed me up. No, it. it he did say that yeah. last week. Yeah, he he uh, he just sell out. He said that he would he would stand if he could be, be signed. Well, then so. fuck him. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Him. My respect for him just plummeted. If that's the yeah, case. That is the case. And uh, well, he, know, he's suing the he's suing the uh, NFL, I think. Collusion, I guess. Collusion. Huh? Uh, for collusion. Collusion. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's keeping he, him out of a job. Yeah. 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 He's uh, but Green Bay's looking at him. <laughs> yeah, Green. Uh, that- well, I I saw some tweets that uh, or or Facebook posts that Patrick had made that uh, about this uh, uh, Green Bay and uh, and Kaepernick. Uh, you're not too happy about that, are you? Okay, number one, it's not going to happen. Because, no, it's not. Because the head coach of the Green Bay Packers. He, he had a press conference after Aaron Rodgers got injured. Yeah. And somebody asked him, would you consider uh, hiring Kaepernick? After he already just answered a question of what did the quarterback situation look like? And he said, the backup quarterback that we have is going to be the quarterback, and then the third string quarterback will be the backup. And then somebody said, well, would you consider Kaepernick? And he said, did you hear what I just answered? And it, no, Kaepernick is not coming to Green Bay. And it I was, only, it was only mentioned during the... I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I wouldn't want him there anyway because of the lightning rod of bullshit that he brings. He's got and, yeah, I mean, it just that's the problem with him now is he is... He's a lightning rod, no matter where he's going to go. And he's created that, especially now that he's suing the NFL. Now, Green Bay Packers are owned hey, by, hey, by the fans, right? Correct. You're that is only, correct. Only, uh, fan. <laughs> and it looks like a lot of the fans aren't uh, too happy about what uh, what he's done in this take a knee thing. Uh, from what I can see uh, on the ancillary tweet, uh, uh, Facebook posts around what you did. Uh, and... It's uh, it, it also, you know, he's not a very good quarterback. <laughs> that, that's not what I've heard. Some people, I was watching a bunch of sports people the other day talking about Kaepernick and saying he's a very accomplished in player. Than average. In comparison to the losing team, the 49ers he, no, have he, no, now. They say he's a better than average uh, player in football. He's good when he, has a good when he has a good front line of uh, the Protecting him, he can be pretty. See, good. I know know nothing it's about this. You know what you're talking you can, about. Yeah. You can, but all you can I know is that I heard some sports people the other day talking about it, and, and they were all I've agreeing seen. that he was a good player. There's no reason why a team should not have them have him he, on their he team. He had a good season, one season, and then. Yeah. Hey, Phil, can I can I ask Alex a question real quick? Sure, abs- uh, sure. I'm sorry, uh, Alex. Yeah. Uh, you probably know uh, entertainers that were blackballed, but does it feel like we're back in the McCarthy era? Well, in a, in, a, in in not in exactly the same way because that was no, a, no but I mean, wait a minute, let we me, have an entertainer well, in there. Well, let now. me finish that because I know that era quite well. Okay, right. Uh, having Start lived right. through it, uh, that was a witch hunt, uh, and and that was a witch hunt based on fear. You know, someone a communist is he trying to take over the country? You know, that kind right. of thing. This is more a uh, a. Uh, a question of, well, will you stand for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance or won't you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? And that's not the same thing. You know, no, I know. Uh, but but, but they're, they're forcing it on us. It, you know, if there's a new McCarthyism, and I'm, I hate to say this, but if there's something that even smacks of McCarthyism, it's what's happening to Weinstein right now. Yeah. Not that Weinstein isn't a prick, not that Weinstein isn't a lowlife, not that Weinstein didn't do terrible things to women, but it has gone from being, uh, what could we call it? Uh, it's the court of public it, opinion. It, well, no, no, it's no. It's gone from being... Uh, Appropriate, um, similar treatment. Well, it, it, no, it's, it's gone from being a chastisement, okay, to a witch hunt. Right. All right? Uh, and uh, now everybody who ever winked at a woman in the office somewhere 
is suddenly is being accused. I mean, they've now go, gone after Bob Weinstein, uh, and he says, uh, his people say, he did no such thing, this is a fabrication, and I believe it's probably true if there's only one of them, and somebody's doing it because it's a Weinstein, and they think they can get away with it. Right, you know. right. Uh, uh, so, so now we're starting to see the witch hunts that are going on in this sort of thing, and a lot you see of these people uh, posting things like "Me Too." Uh, you know, they're they're trying well, to make every man uh, have. Well, uh, make I, guilt. Let, let's be honest about it. In Hollywood, uh, a large proportion of the people manning the offices, manning the top positions in Hollywood, are gay, and. This same kind of treatment goes on towards guys as well. Uh, you know, Rob Schneider, right? hold on. Rob Schneider, Cruz, Rob Schneider was talking on TMZ the other day, and I, I'm going to ask him the next time I talk to him uh, about the fact that he was uh, being interviewed by a Hollywood big shot, a, a name everybody would know who asked me to get down on my hands and knees and crawl over to his crotch. And he said, I stood up and I walked out. But, you know, how many guys out there are being given this kind of treatment? And yet somehow the women are going, it's just us. No, it's not just you. If you're gay, it could be you. If you're not gay, you could have a gay guy, you could have a gay producer coming on to you. What about all the women? What about, one minor what, difference. what about the women in power? Wait a minute. What about the women in power who've used that power to get laid themselves? I've known many of those. Yeah. Okay. We, We're not talking no. about them. It's all about the evil guy and he has to have his way. No, women do it too in Hollywood. Uh, you know, wait a wait, 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 daughter. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Patrick has his hand up. I, I didn't see your hand up. Yeah, it's been here. Uh, 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 just like uh, this. You know. uh, anyway, Patrick. Uh, the, the thing is, anybody with power, regardless of gender, yeah. regardless of um, sexual identity, mm -hmm. uh, yep. they got the power. And they're going to do whatever they want if they can get away with it. Yeah, and human nature. I, you know, I saw this Me Too stuff, and it made me kind of roll my eyes, not because I want to minimize what a lot of women have gone through, but for exactly the point you brought up, how many guys have been abused or have been approached, and, you know, and, and how many women have taken advantage or tried to do the same thing? So, yeah. you know, it, it, you're right. It's not just a segment. You know, it, it it's, does it's, seem it's more power, it's, it's power brokers. It's the power yeah. brokers in Hollywood who think they can get away with this kind of uh, behavior because, uh, you know, why not? Uh, I have the power. I can do it. And to I think, think there's one minor difference, uh, Alex, though. For the women, they, they pretty much, if they stood up and walked out, they probably never got into their job in Hollywood with the guys if they stood up and walked out because of the old boys club a little bit and the men were controlling this for so long i don't think all of their careers were ruined well i don't I, think, I think uh, look, look I, a lot of these women who are coming up and saying that they were approached and they turned around and walked out aren't women that got ruined in hollywood jennifer lawrence has not been ruined in hollywood okay as an example of just one person who has made these claims. That's, that's, that's true. You that's know, true. and uh, I, I, a lot of the other actresses have worked, some of them successfully, some of them not as successfully, but not because they didn't suck Bob uh, Weinstein, uh, not Bob, but uh, Harvey. Uh, uh, Harvey Weinstein's Harvey. dick, you know. Uh, so I don't think that that's true. That may have been true, you know, back in the 40s when you had guys like Louis B. Mayer diddling Shirley Temple. You know, but uh, not today. Uh, you know, you had, um, we have the old story, and I'll t say it, you know, about Kirk Douglas uh, raping Natalie Wood when she was 15 on a, on a supposed interview where he was going to interview her to be uh, have a part in one of her fi his films, and he just openly molested her, supposedly. This is, this is not considered Hollywood myth. This has pretty well been corroborated uh, any number of places so this has been going on forever but you know to think that it, it has been exclusively women and not guys i'd say a lot of guys were literally raped 
by Hollywood producers, okay? Um, In so, more ways than one, but uh, I, I just wanted to mention, you know Nancy Pelosi's daughter, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, she was in the news today or yesterday uh, that she is going, now she's jumped on the bandwagon and she's going after California um, uh, pornography producers. What the, she's calling is the blue, the blue state uh, of, uh, of sex in California. And, uh, so uh, yeah, she, she's, uh, you know, a lot, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. Well, even I, Nancy I, Pelosi's daughter. No, I would disagree with her that, I mean, you're talking about the porn industry. Yes. Uh, and there are a lot of people in the porn industry have already been chastised for bad behavior with the working women of the business. Uh, because James Dean was one of them. James Dean was one of them. Uh, a, a very popular male actor who supposedly, you know, just would go too far when he was filming and, and uh, uh, had no respect for safe words and things like that. Uh, you Is know, this a porno actor, James it's, Dean, or James it, Dean? We're, the, we're uh, talking about the porno actor, James Dean. D-E-E-N. Okay. One of the Jews in porn, by the way. Uh, it's not supposed. It. It's been like uh, the Kirk Douglas thing. It's been corroborated by a bunch of sources. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But, one of those women. One of those women were interviewed on a podcast I listened to called Sick and Wrong, and uh, it's based in California. And uh, she was uh, recounting her tales of uh, all the unwarranted advances. And, yeah, well, you know, I mean, there's there there's a business where they're even less protected than say Hollywood female stars because th what they do for Argument a living, there. what do they do for a living? They fuck, and so the natural assumption is, well, she, you know, what, you know, she she fucks for a living. What do you expect? Well, you expect that when they're working on a set, that they be treated fairly and well and not accosted. And that rape is rape, whether you're a porno actress or not a porno actress. You know, having sex with somebody on screen is a thing known as consensual sex. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but, but uh, they have a hard time, a very difficult time proving any of these assertions. You know, because people won't listen to them. Oh, you're a porno actress. What does that matter? It was part of the script. Yeah, part of the script. But you know, I just, I just, I just find it. Uh, um, it's interesting that that uh, we, you know, uh, I mean, I even think that we, if we did the same thing with Cosby. Now, I look, you know, I said this before, and I'll say it again. Let's say every woman, but one, was accusing that accused Cosby wasn't lying. You know, one was li one wasn't lying, and the rest were. That's enough. You yeah, know, but he's one the is one is enough. Okay, even if all the other I don't know forty nine are 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 lying through their teeth, the one that's right that he raped, or drugged and then slept with, it's wrong. Yeah. Okay, and with Weinstein, with all the women that have come forward, I think there are forty nine of them now, uh, uh, and and the the list is growing every day. Let's say most of them are, are just looking for publicity let's say most of them are not telling the truth but if one isn't is telling the truth and you said this last night phil you agreed that if even one you know was well, yeah, you know, if, if one that yeah. means that and he's, i'm sure he's I'm, a rapist. I'm sure but, it was more you know, than one he but what i'm murderer? saying is he is he a mass murderer or is he just is did he just kind of punch one person, you know? Uh, uh, I, 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 you know, where's the equivalence I, there? There is well, no well, Phil. Well, you're well. making a weird equivalence there. Exactly, Kevin. You, uh, I thanks, think it would call a false equivalence. Yeah, very false equivalent. Well, because wait I a minute, just, let me finish. Let me finish. There's a false equivalent because here we're talking about rape. We're not talking about punching somebody. Well, I'm trying to make an equivalence to well. There's uh, no you know, equivalence, you can't, can't, but you're, you're not a guy that uh, that that uh, they killed somebody uh, in a car accident by mistake. You know, uh, no, 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 you, no, 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 no. You're Phil. You're digging a ditch deeper and deeper and deeper. They're turning this guy into a deeper. mass murderer. What? They're turning this guy into a, a mass rapist or a mass murderer, or you know, they're 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 piling on so deep that. Uh, 
you know, he it's harder to dig himself out of the court of public opinion. Well, he's not going to dig himself out of the court of public opinion. He couldn't do that after the fifth person, you know. Yeah. Uh, so and maybe you know. the second through five ultimately. are lying. What? And maybe the second through five are lying. I think that the guy should be convicted before you know or or uh, uh, tried before he's convicted well i look uh, i'm the first one to say that you know we we can't the court of public opinion is not is a lynch mob essentially right. uh yes. and and the guy needs to be tried in a court of law or but the fact that he has paid off at least five or six women and maybe there were even more i think there were nine that he paid yeah. off prior to all these allegations coming out shows that he felt in some way he was responsible. You know, well, maybe, you and know he, it's sometimes easier to pay off than to fight it. Well, you know, you can only pay off so much before people begin to think, hey, you're just paying them off to shut them up. Yes, Patrick. Eight. Uh, I had also heard that it was written in his contract that there were certain things that would be... Uh, the word isn't forgiven, but would be forgiven as long as he monetarily made it up um, with, you know, paying people off or whatever. So, you know, that... that Didn't little, say it was his own money? That, uh, it, that they allowed it at the studio, but it was his own money that made the settlements. Right. It, it, so, that in the contract, as long as he covered the cost, of whatever the lawsuit would be or whatever, then it would be, you know, okay, I guess. Yeah, so that means they were complicit. Well, I don't know if they... The, the thing about his brother came out and said he was not aware that it had gone to the extent that it had. I think maybe he was under the impression it, that there may have been consensual and then the women... In, it wasn't that sort of thing. Not necessarily rape. Uh, but yeah, they didn't like. The, they didn't like the deal. They made a deal. Uh, hey, you know, they had sex with the wait, guy. Wait, wait, they Phil, didn't like Phil, the deal. Phil, you're, get you're, the you're, sounding, you're sounding so sexist. You're being ridiculous. This is just well, horrible. You know, there's two sides this to every horrible. story. No, it, it, no. You know, uh, I don't consider it. Hey, listen, if he told them, I'm going to give you a part in a movie if you blow me, okay? Yeah. I don't consider that consensual sex. I consider that bribery. Pay to play. You, no, no, it's not oh, pay shit. to play. Oh, oh shit, that's bribery. Phil, big Phil, Phil, come on. You hey, know, you know if, if the woman goes in and you, this casting couch has existed since the beginning I of don't time. care if it existed since in, in, the, in the Garden of Eden. It isn't right, and it's time it comes to an end. Yes, Patrick, you're laughing. What about? <laughs> Wait, you said you, you don't care if it existed in the Garden of Eden. Um, the, the, the thing is, the way that it would be okay, Phil, is yeah. if somebody came in to, you know, to to interview or however that goes, they get the part, and then later, at some point, she would say to him, hey, would you be interested in a rock? And the part's already given, all of the papers are signed, and then it, it's a dating thing, more than a negotiation where that's part of the contract. So, I mean, yeah, no, if, if, if the way that you're getting the, the damn job is come here and give me a blow job and then you got it, that's not, no, that's not consensual, that's not pay to play, that, that's bribery. Yeah. And it's illegal. And it, it should not, not be allowed. Well, it should not be allowed. But, I mean, uh, on top of it, I mean, uh, uh, I think it was Tim, although he hung up, who said, well, yeah, but the difference was that some of these women would never work in Hollywood again. Well, let me tell you something about Harvey Weinstein. He used to go out and buy Academy Awards. Uh, he won so many Academy Awards, other people pale by comparison because he, he spent money to win them. He advertised, he politicked, he did everything it took to win. And there are certain women whose... Oscars sitting on their mantles and the fact that when they make a movie it says Oscar winner so-and-so is thanks to Harvey Weinstein 
And the women who have to thank him are people like Meryl Streep, Judy Dench, Jennifer Lawrence. These are all women who won Academy Awards. Uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, uh, one of the one, women who was the biggest complainer of all, the one that was in Shakespeare in Love. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember her name now. Uh, huh? Get the liberal politicians. No, but, that no, but no, 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 no. We're not talking about that right now. You always have no, to throw that. It was, no, it was that has no. I'm talking thing. about actresses now, Phil. I'm not talking about. Right. I'm not talking about well, politicians. I guess who the took, politicians are who actors took, too. Who took his money? And if I was a politician, I would have taken his money. Okay, it's green, and it could get me elected. All mm -hmm. right, uh, but the fact is that that uh, these women all can thank their Academy Award to Har Harvey Weinstein, and yet. None of them, I mean, Jennifer Lawrence said that he, he tried something with her, and she just turned around and walked out. She won an Academy Award anyway, didn't she? Yes. Yeah. You know, so it, it wasn't an absolute. If you have the talent, you were going to just be able to tell Harvey Weinstein, put your dick back in your pants, I'm leaving. You Do know? you think Hillary slept with him? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, it's, Phil. Yeah, I think it is. To get know. back. Bill, right? Huh? Should be in her book. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I mean, you know, this is a guy who walked in. What was this one actress who said she she was sleeping that in her book. she was sleeping in her hotel room, and he walked in, and pulled out his pant down his pants and started jerking off in front of her. And Into in one case, plant. he got a woman in a in a corner and started jerking off and came in a potted plant. You know why he did that? Because he's Jewish, he did not want to soil the sh the sheets. Oh shit! Here he oh goes. shit! <laughs> hey, you know that's shit. why Jewish women don't want to have sex. They don't want to get the sheets dirty. Oh boy! <laughs> hey, yeah. what are we gonna do? Uh, you? You're, you're a gem. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're a diamond in the rough, Phil. Yeah. Well. Oh no, uh, no, he's in the rough. Uh, I do it well. <laughs> he's true, no, he's no, true, a dying. True. But all I'm saying is that when I go back to what I was saying originally about it being a, a witch hunt, that it goes from being a public chastisement, which we have the right to do because, you know, he, he, he acted inappropriately towards people and made people feel uncomfortable. That's my that's what I consider the real sin here. And um, he did that and uh, it was wrong. It was absolutely wrong. So, you know. Uh, but but when it starts to become a witch hunt, and that everybody, and then they went and got the guy at Amazon Studios, and there was somebody else today that that uh, that had a problem. Uh, and, and, and then they're digging up this story about this guy, Nasser, who is a doctor for a sports doctor. Who, for the uh, for the uh, gymnastic team and the women that he the little girls he was molesting by telling them they yep. had to check their vaginas out and stick his finger up their ass to see if they were okay this was all normal procedure well he's 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 in handcuffs he's in jail and he's on trial but you know I doubt if that'll happen to Weinstein I mean I hope it happens to Weinstein I hope he has to atone. For the, the for the misconduct of his of his life, but we can't sit here and be a lynching party. That's not the way we do justice in this country. You Isn't know? it interesting that now that he claims that it's a sickness and he goes to get help so that uh, and counseling. So, uh, Bullshit! It's not his fault. He's just a victim of the sickness. Bullshit! Well, that's what that's what people do. You know, yeah, well, I mean, it, it, the fact is, you know, you're, you know, this the, the kind of behavior he was involved in is behavior you have, you have some modicum of control over, okay? Yes. You know, and if you don't, uh, then get out of the business because you're a wolf in a in a hen house. Well, you and, know the golden you rule, right? Huh? You know what the golden rule is? Here we go. He, he who has the gold makes the rules. And he had the gold. He made the rules, but uh, you know the people got together with pitchforks and and uh, stormed the castle. Look, I it it bothers me that he had enough power to buy Academy Awards. Okay, right. nobody's talking about that evil part of his life, you know. Uh, but but nevertheless, these women who are now accusing him and are yelling at him, 
uh, the Meryl Streeps, the Judy Denches. They were the first to come forward. Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, all these women. Uh, and what's her name from Shakespeare in Love? I'm trying to remember her name now. Uh, her mother's an actress. Her father is a director. Uh, very well known actress. Huh? Liza Minnelli? No. She fits the no, 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 no. <laughs> um, uh, she was she came out too these were all women who won academy awards because he bought them for her for them you know uh so i mean i i don't know i just i i uh, i don't feel sorry for harvey i hope uh, if there was if there was a, a lynch mob maybe i might even be in that lynch mob but nevertheless i just think we have to you know, we have to calm down a little bit. I mean, this is be uh, this is all I being me Trump. this is being media fed. Uh, interestingly, I don't think our president has tweeted about it. Uh, it's the not one yet. It's he the hasn't one. read. He hasn't stayed up that early. Uh, got up that late to uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Is that the one Gwyneth Paltrow. About? That's who I was thinking of. Yeah, uh, Patrick. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. That the only thing I heard Trump say was he, he somebody asked him was he was walking through one of his transition things there and he, he said it doesn't surprise me. That's what he said. Yeah, well I mean but That's isn't, isn't he said. the guy who said when you got money and you 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 can yeah. you can touch uh, grab somebody yeah. by the yeah. pussy and you won't get in trouble yeah. for it. Exactly. He also, and so, he could walk down the middle of Fifth Avenue, shoot somebody, and he'd still be popular. Yeah, but I mean, that statement alone about the grabbing pussy uh, is strangely reminiscent of Harvey Weinstein. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if, if, if uh, Trump did the same thing himself. I have information. Who's Trump talking Trump about, knew about Weinstein. Huh? Trump I have information. Knew about he was talking about a cat when he was talking about pussy, grabbing the pussy. Yeah. Uh, hmm. You know? Uh, Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was a joke, yeah. folks. Uh, Is that what you consider yourself now, a cat? By the way, what did you, you know, think? What did you think about McC uh, 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 What did you think about yeah. McCain? You take... want to have your pussy grab by? What did you think about Cheeto looking motherfucker? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. What did you think about McCain no, sure. taking uh, taking Trump to the woodshed? Uh, I think they're having a battle. I think it was uh, beneath McCain to to do to say what he said at that award ceremony. Beneath McCain. Beneath. He didn't name names. He just said he didn't like the way the country was going with a, a certain blatant nationalism. Well, it's been it's he's had 30 or 30 or 40 years to put it on the right track. And he hasn't yet. And, well, no, 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 know, no, no, no. That's that not the point. Shot. That's not the point. And then shot. today, today, Trump, assuming it was him he was talking about because he didn't yeah. say any names, Said, uh, well, you know, I'll have something to do to, to do with this uh, uh, at another day, and it won't be it won't be pretty, right? Wow, well, well, I mean, well, who is he? The back. fucking mafia? You know it won't be pretty between Biden and McCain. They're the swamp. That's the swamp. Those Those Biden is the nothing. swamp. Oh, just Those the old swamp. Both of these people. Both of these people. Both, both of these Obama people. Wait beautiful. a minute. Both of these just, people the are decent. Decent human beings, Phil. No, just because they make nice speeches and they talk nice to each other, that doesn't mean they're decent human beings. They have done nothing for this country. This country is in the position that it's in because of these do-nothings no, that are in I, Congress I and, the, and the Senate. No, what the hell is Trump doing? Nothing. Oh, he's, he's, Not he's, me. He has his finger up his ass. Uh, what do I do next? Oh, you know, <laughs> you don't like the fact that Trump is standing up to these guys? Oh, bullshit. He's, he, he's such a goddamn liar, Phil. Come off it. Yeah. He has his finger up his ass. What is he going to do next? Yeah. What who's he he fire next? Uh, Tell me uh, that. Uh, Tell uh, me that. Okay, Patrick has his Tell hand. I don't want gangrene to set into Patrick's hand. <laughs> yes, Patrick. <laughs> pa um, at this point, what did McCain have to lose? Say it again, Patrick. What did McCain have to lose at this point? I mean, I... I'd say good for him. He can basically do what the fuck he wants at this point. I mean, I don't know what his life expectancy is with this cancer he has, whether he's going to run again, if he, you know, is okay. You know, I, I highly doubt he would run again. Um, what has he got to lose? He can say what he wants. Again, he didn't, he didn't mention names. And his response to Trump today, I thought, was great which was, 
I'm more concerned with what the president does, not with what he says. And then exactly. some wrote it up with, well, what do you think about his threat? And he said, I've had uh, worse adversaries. And yeah. that is true. Yeah. In, you know, Hanoi Hilton mm -hmm. compared to Trump, plus Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo. Well, you know, I I respect John McCain uh, for not giving up, and uh, you know, when those other prisoners were, uh, then they offered him release if he would, uh, and he said that he wouldn't go if the other prisoners weren't allowed to go. Uh, I have a lot of respect for that, and uh, on the other hand, uh, some of the th you know he's supposed to be a Republican, and uh, he he I don't think he is. And I think the only reason he ran as a Republican, because in Arizona, if you weren't a Republican, you couldn't be a dog, dog catcher, you know. And, uh, you know, I just don't. He's a rhino. Uh, rhino you know, he's a uh, Republican in, in, uh, in Democratic clothing. And what does that make a person like Zell Miller? Um, I forgot who Zell Miller was. I've heard of his name. Bunch uh, of memory on that one very 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 conservative democratic uh but was he a, was he a congressman or was he a senator that i don't remember but he was uh he was one of the speakers at the uh uh um uh republican national convention in george w bush's uh re-election bid in 2004 he was uh lambasting carry at the whole flip flop uh hollabaloo yeah, which but, we know isn't really true. No. Wait, no, what isn't true, Phil? Uh, well, the carry, uh, the things that they accuse carry of, uh, the, um, the this fast boat or uh, whatever yeah, those. I mean, swift yeah. boat veterans, the truth. Guys, yeah, I guess it wasn't true. Uh, you guess it wasn't true? No, it wasn't true. Oh, uh, well, okay. You know, hey, you got me saying, uh, you know, that uh, Carrie was uh, given a raw deal. I didn't I, like I, Carrie. I, I wasn't a big fan of, of Carrie politically. Neither was I. But, you know? but, you know, I certainly felt sorry for the way he was swift boated, as they called it. And I thought that uh, the reason he lost that election is because he didn't have the guts to just say, shut the fuck up. You know, well, that, you know, you if know, one of these guys would stand up to these bullies, I mean, Hillary goes, you know, maybe I should have told Trump to back off, creep. Well, maybe if she did, she'd be president right now because somebody would suddenly uh, say, boy, she's got balls. That's what we want for president. Well, we always knew that she had balls. No, we didn't. I never heard she had balls. She has a vagina, Phil. Uh, yeah, can you prove it? I wouldn't want to have to. <laughs> Why? Can't? I'd like to say I wouldn't prove it with Phil's dick, but since uh, Phil makes such outlandish statements, I'd be more than happy to. Well, you better get his <laughs> dick while he still can. Uh... <laughs> but it's still squirt. Jeff's been very quiet. Doesn't Jeff, have to, Jeff, what, what, what? Thank do you. you. What, what do you? What do you? What, what do you think of the proceedings this evening? Do you have any comments? Well, I I think our. A president, of course, every day comes up with something crazy, and and he just gets. Please, when will he leave? That's, that's well. All. I yeah. wish it would be one. I, say. I bet wish it be one day when there, you know, when I could go on the air here and there'd be nothing to say about Trump. It would just be a pleasant, relaxing day. But every day he does a tweet or he says something. I mean, this whole thing today about the about the uh, you know the wife of the uh, of the dead soldier and what he said to her. I mean, That's come terrible. on, he said he didn't say it. Oh, and, oh he's full of shit. I think the he's husband, senile. Did did, did they take his damn I, pills? Did I hear today that the husband of that woman said that he didn't say it? Uh, it was some gold star husband. I guess she's a gold star. No, that was, no that was this was a wife. This was the wife of a soldier. I know, but uh, Kevin, yeah. who was it that said that uh, he didn't say it? It was a gold star husband. Or... No, you're getting mixed up with that one. Uh, there was a soldier that got paid some benefits to. Oh, his that guy, wife twenty five thousand. Yeah, yeah. He was wanted to have a piece of that. That was a long time ago. But you know. He, 
I just don't think Trump has the capacity to have any kind of compassion, and he just kills himself every time he opens his mouth. He, well, if he just shut up, he'd do so much better, even if he that, was. Well, you know, they were saying Trump. that he made a statement about Obama not uh, uh, That's talking. That's stupid. To no, it's but stupid. you know who the, you know who the person was that did not get the, the the letter or the phone call. It was General Kelly's General Kelly. Yeah, no, was yeah. his son. They have but not I been able to deal. confirm that. They, General Kelly it, said it, it. No, uh, I have no to bring Kelly it up didn't in the first say place. it. Kelly didn't say it. He hasn't said it. He hasn't. He, all he has said mm -hmm. is, I don't like seeing uh, my son's death and and the death of other Americans being well, politicized yeah. like this. But he didn't say that his son didn't get some kind of message from yeah. Obama. Which brings me back to my point. Why I mean, did he even bring it up? I mean, you've got, you've got, you've got video of Obama out at Andrews Air Force Base bringing back the bodies of 44 dead Americans and saluting the caskets as they went by. And he didn't do anything? He, he picks up. By the way, Biden was with him. Biden was with him. Kelly's son. Huh? What about the fact that uh, no, about the fact Kelly that he, has not said that happened with his son. Don't you understand that? Phil? And, he, uh, you know, but he, maybe he, he wouldn't because he, he doesn't want to. Contradict he didn't his say boss. it. Didn't all he said in response to that was, "I don't think we can turn this. We should turn this issue into a political <laughs> campaign." He did not say that he did not get a call from Obama. Uh, he chose it? not to. Participate. He chose right. not to participate in the discussion. Uh, I guess That's he's right. a class guy. Yeah, but the, what you're doing is you're 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 assuming Obama didn't call, but the, you know you I assume I, that's what Trump said. No, that's just because oh, Trump, Trump said it. Trump, crap. Mr. Mr. Pinnacle of honesty and forthrightness. Oh, come on, are he's you kidding me? Yeah, he's yeah. seen Al too. Ke Kevin, he's our scrotus. And in the pre in the press conference, they asked him if he had any kind of proof. He said no, but there was a couple of people in the room. In what happened when that when that phone call was made, the congresswoman and the wife were in a car on Bluetooth. Supposedly, I'm not sure if it was for sure, but they were on Bluetooth, and they both heard it. So there's yeah. at least some kind of proof there. But he has no proof, and he won't. You know, he's oh, how many he, times he, he says he does. How many, how many times? Yeah, he says he does. Yeah, but how you see, why should why, why should we even be no, why should we even be in this pissing match? Correct. Why, what does that have to do with the governance of this country? Yes, Patrick. That's it, right. It was the last time he produced proof for anything. We're still trying to figure out sure. you know, whether Obama because he's uh, a lying sack of shit, Patrick. The, the other thing, uh, made it has nothing to do with substance of anything. It when the left throws out uh, that none of Trump's children have served in the military. And my retort to that is, we are a volunteer military. It doesn't matter. They have a choice whether yeah. to go or not to yeah. go after everyone else. There is no draft, and that argument is fucking ridiculous. Oh, I, I agree with you. I would agree with you on that one. Yep. You know, absolutely. Uh, uh, yes. The only the only thing I would say that uh, in in Trump's situation, he could have been drafted into the Vietnam conflict, and he got out of it by claiming bone spurs or something like that. Yeah, yeah. not his kid. <laughs> but no, I agree with you. I agree with you on that one. You know, absolutely. I mean, well, Trump kid never. Yeah. It's a volunteer military now. Yep. They don't have to. Oh, by the way, when you get a chance, Patrick, check your thing again on Skype to make sure that it is not <laughs> automatically keeping your sound going down because it seems to be doing it again. And it may have slipped back with an upgrade or something like that. Just check it out when you get a chance. Mm -hmm. You know, Baron Trump. Is it okay? Should be going to military school. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then he would be doing his service. Uh you know? yeah, I, he would not. No. You know, how fell, come fell, Trump fell, fell. Okay, fell, 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 fell. Time to stop making a fool out of yourself. Pick it on the kids. Uh, because no. it's time for <laughs> time <us>. out. <laughs> we're, we're sending you to, the t to time out. Go to your room. <laughs> anyway. Hey, your hey, that's it. I got to go here. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm late in getting out of here. Yeah, all the red that. one. You yeah. got pimples on your tongue. 
It's another Trump Wednesday. Yeah. Well, thanks to Tony oh, who left us and Tim who left us. But uh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Patrick, Hello. who's a Tessic 1138, by the way, in case you haven't uh, checked it out. And thank you very much, Brian. As always, great seeing you and talking with you as well. Uh, okay. That's it for tonight. Uh, t- a lot of fun this evening. Uh, give yourself a, 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 a hearty handshake, and uh, why don't you wave goodbye to everybody? That would be nice, too. Bye-bye, everybody. Uh, yeah. They're waving bye-bye. There they go. Okay, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, you know, coming up next, you got a thing called the ram- uh, the, uh, the intersection with Jack and Amy over most of this same uh, little outfit uh, called Gabnet. Uh, And then at, uh, what, 1 o'clock this morning, don't forget to join Connections. It'll be coming your way just in about an hour. Uh, In the meantime, I'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, mm, tell her I love her. Okay, bye.